Welcome to this night of pause. Welcome to the beginning of our Lenten journey. This is a season to focus our energies on reconciliation and healing, to find again our deep connection to God, to our true selves, to the people around us, and to all of creation. And so I invite you to find the resonance of your voice. Hum, or if it feels right to you, ooh, this simple melody. Let those tones vibrate in you from your head to your toes. Let the calm you and heal what is wounded within. Let them connect you to the one whose voice brought forth the universe and all that is in it. with weeping, 
and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord, your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents from punishing. whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord, your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep. Let them say, Spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the peoples, where is their God? The breath of God surrounds you. Take a deep breath and remember God's love for you. The breath of God surrounds you. Take a deep breath. 
and remember Christ's sacrifice for all of us. The breath of God surrounds you. Take a deep breath and remember the Spirit remains with us always. Take a deep breath and listen for a word of assurance.
we entreat you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. As we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept that the grace of God is in vain. For he says, at an acceptable time, I have listened to you, and on the day of salvation, I have helped you. See, now is the acceptable time. See, how is the day of salvation? We are putting no obstacle in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way, you know, through great endurance, in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of spirit, genuine love, truthful speech, and the power of God. With the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left, in honor and dishonor, in ill repute and good repute, we are treated as impostors, and yet are true, as unknown, and yet are well known, as dying, and see, we are alive, as punished, and yet not killed, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing everything. We entreat you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled with God. Each of us knows where the wounded parts dwell within us. Each of us knows that which has been decaying, that which has been broken by our own lack of care that which is in desperate need of reconciliation with God. Each of us knows the struggle imposed by others, the ways we've been closed, the ways we've closed ourselves off for fear of being hurt, the times we've felt absent from God. This is a day to remember the fleeting nature of this life, to recall how easy it is to lose connection, how short-sighted we can be, and how frivolous we can be with the precious time that God has given to us. So I invite you to hold out your hands, for the next few minutes, think about the wounds that you carry, the wasted moments, the fears, the regrets. As each thought passes through your mind, imagine gently placing all of those fears, all of those concerns in your outstretched hands. Hold on to them.
close your hands around those experiences. Everything that you hold there in your hand has contributed to who you are in this moment. It's a part of who you are now, but remember that it is not the whole of you. And in fact, you need not cling to it any longer. Take in once again the breath of God that surrounds you, and when you are ready, gently open your hands and breathe out. Letting the sacred breath of God dissolve your fears, your regrets, your wounds. And take one more cleansing breath. Be filled with the healing power of God in this moment. There are blessings meant for you to hold on to, clutched like a lifeline, carried like a, a candle in a dark way, tucked into a pocket like a, a smooth stone, reminding you that you do not go alone. This blessing is not those. This blessing will find its form only if you give it away. Only as you release it into the keeping of another. Only as you let it leave you. Bearing the shape, the imprint, the grace it will take only for having passed through your two particular hands.
blessed one and blessed oneness. We long to find for ourselves the eagle's grace to ride effortlessly the thermals of life. Distrust keeps the wings of our hearts closed. We have been swept up once too often by promises unkept, by tragedies unexpected, by twists of faith unanticipated. And so for this Lenten season, we journey with Jesus, spirit-led, into the wilderness of our apprehension to face our demons of distrust, and to find the courage to lean once more into the winds of grace and be uplifted by your mystical presence. Amen. <laughs>